Hello guys, on this video I'm going to show you how to check a blown fuse on a car using a small test light. So firstly, let us check, check if our test light is working. I'm gonna put the other side of the test light. That side of the test light, I'm gonna put it on the negative side. And the other one, I'm gonna point to the positive side. And then there's the light comes on. So our test light is working. So usually on these cars there is two fuse boxes, one on the front of the car and the other one will be inside. Like on this car, that one is the other one which is supposed to be on the front and I'm going to use the one which is inside the car. So as you can see on this car I've already removed the cover which is supposed to be on the right side of the dashboard on the driver's side. Okay, that is the fuse box on inside. So I'm going to take my test light again and then put it on the body of the car. That's the negative. It's going to work as a negative. And I'm going to test my fuses one by one. So if I do like this and then the light is supposed to come on. If I check both sides of this fuse, you see, it's supposed to come on. So if you check nicely guys on the fuses, there is those uh, shining wires on the edges of the fuse, like those ones which I'm pointing. That's the ones which you're supposed to use when you're checking with the test light. So uh, you must make sure the key is on. And if you check one side, if, if, it's, if there's power on this other side and the other side there's no power, then it means that fuse is blown. So like this fuse is blown that one so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take it out with my hands uh, what we can do sometimes we usually use a fuse puller or a pair of pliers as you can see this fuse inside it's it's no longer in one piece so it means it's blown so i'm gonna put another fuse but the other fuse which i'm putting it's a it's a small fuse so i'm just putting this fuse so that you can see but you mustn't put a, a small fuse you must put the same size of the fuse which you remove when you are changing a fuse so as you can see now this one is working it's fine now so uh, like what i was saying guys if you remove a 15 you must put back a 15 if you remove a 30m fuse you must put back a 30 it just goes like that you don't change the sizes but there is those other fuses like this one you can just see it without even removing or even checking with the test light if it's blown because you can see what's inside that fuse and then you can see it's still in one piece so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe share like and comment bye see you on the next video